Okay, so you're new to Gran Turismo 7. Well, you're going to need two things, skills and a massive amount of credits. The skills, that's down to you. But the credits, I can definitely help you with that. Okay, so let's get right into it. Once you've done all the tedious starter stuff in the game, start following my tutorial. Talk to Sarah and she will take you over to the car dealership, which is handy because that's the first place we need to go. And once you're in the second hand car dealership, just follow the prompts, but basically you want to get down to the point where you buy this, the Toyota Aqua S11, which is the best of the three available cars at the start. And once you have your car, it's time to head over to the cafe and we will make a start on the menu books. Now, pretty much skip through the first one, just get it done as quickly as possible because it's number two that's important. We need to get to the license centre. Now, this is where we're going to deviate from the game a little bit. The menu book requires you to just do the first test, but do all of them, all ten. Get yourself the license. You're going to need it later on anyway, so you might as well just do them all now. But we need to do them all now because what we want is the car that it gives you for completing all of the tests. And you don't have to worry about getting gold on them. That doesn't matter. As long as you complete them and get the license, you will get the car. Yes, you get another car later on if you get all gold, but don't worry about that now. Just complete all 10, get the B license and get the free car. And not only do you get the very nice Renault Clio RS, which is what we want, you'll pick up a load of credits too. And once you have your license, head over to your garage and jump in your shiny new Renault Clio RS because now we need to carry on with the menu books. And we need specifically to get to number four. See, completing number three, that's easy, but that, that opens the tuning shop for us. And that's something we're going to need. And well, when we start number four, that opens the high speed ring and that, that is where we're going to start making the big money. But just before we start our first races at the high speed ring, let's have a head over to the tuning shop and kit out the Clio. Now the first thing we're going to need is the sports soft tyres, after that just buy everything else. Pads, silencer, filter, sports computer, suspension and even the weight reduction because that's going to make us pretty much unstoppable during these races. And with the Clio now kitted out, it's time to head over to the high speed ring and start doing our championships. And one of the first things you'll notice when we begin the race is just how fast the Clio is. You are going to be flying past the other cars. In fact, you're probably going to be in the lead before you've even completed half a lap. And that is all good for us. And I will just quickly point out here that you mustn't hit the other cars or the barriers. If you do so, you won't get a clean race bonus, and that bonus is worth a lot of credits. And with race 1 completed, it's time to start race 2. Slightly different this time, you're going to be racing round the track in the opposite direction. And, um, oh yeah, did I mention you were going to be racing in the rain? No, no need to be worried, the rain really isn't any problem in this race. The Clio handles it really well, and just like the other race, you are soon going to be overtaking everything else on the track. Just remember, be a little bit more careful this time, because obviously the track's wet, and the same rules apply. Do not hit the other drivers, and do not hit the barrier, because we want that bonus again. And that's your second win. That is your second lot of 10,500 credits, which is very nice. But for winning the championship, you get an extra 15,000. And that takes us up to 36,000 credits in just eight minutes worth of racing. Or in other words, over a quarter of a million credits in an hour. And once you've done that, then what? Well, go and do it again. Earn yourself a load more credits. But don't just do that, have a little bit of fun. Work your way through the menu books, that will open up new tracks and you'll learn some more cars from it. But every so often, jump back into a championship, run it through again and you will see those credits just keep on piling up and eventually you'll have millions of credits in the bank. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit those like buttons and please consider hitting the subscribe button 
it does help out the channel and i really do appreciate every one of you legends that does that and i will see you in the next video for more great videos like this one follow this link thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video